guys. Uh, I got something a little different for you today. Um, I'm going to do something I've never actually done before and film a haul video. Um, I just want to give a little disclaimer. Um, I'm an adult and while I have very limited income, um, I have taken advantage of coupons and friends with employee discounts and saving up, you know, every penny I've got and doing things like redeeming bottles and cans um, in order to buy all of these things, as well as the fact that I've been slowly picking things up over time. So this particular haul goes back maybe like a good six months of me just slowly getting a couple of things here and there when I've got the money. Um, and some of these were gifts and such. So yeah, so I'm gonna start um, and show you everything based on where I got it. So first off, I have some things that I picked up over Amazon. So one of the first things I got is I finally replaced my masking fluid. This is the Windsor Newton art masking fluid. It's not the colorless one. This one leaves a yellowish tint on it. Um, but it doesn't damage the paper as much as the old one that I used to use, which was the Dale and Rowney. And I really like it a lot. So, And to apply it, I picked up this tool. This is called the Kemper Wipeout Tool. Um, and it's probably something you could use with like clay and such, but it's got this these little rubber nibs. This one's pointed, this one's flat, and it's meant to scrape paint off of a surface. But I've been using it to apply masking fluid, and unlike a brush, I can literally just peel the stuff right off. And it's worked out pretty well. And for future things, if I decide I need some more intricate um, designs or things, they do make several sizes of these type of tools. So this thing has been a lifesaver. One thing that I got that it's not really a big deal, but I picked up a pack of Pentel pocket brush refills because I use that thing a lot. Usually when you look around for refill packs, they sell them in packs of four, but I found a pack of six on Amazon and it was really cheap. So this should last me hopefully a good while, at least until I can figure out how to, ref how to refill them myself. And then this is something I've actually been using in my videos for a little while now. Um, it's the Copic Opaque White ink and and it's a little jar it's not very big but I really really like the stuff I picked it up when I was working on Inktober and while I do like my gel pens this stuff is way more opaque and for certain things I really want it to be like as wide as possible and this lays down pretty thick it's almost feels like a paint more than an ink like it feels a bit like acrylic paint but um, this stuff works very well, and I really like it. Okay, this thing, this stuff I haven't actually gotten a chance to use yet, but I ordered the uh, new watercolor. It's the Van Gogh uh, Naples Yellow Red. Um, I was watching Jacqueline De Leon's um, How to Build a Skin Tone Watercolor Palette a while back, and I wanted to try that out. And most of the colors that I would need for it I already had, but I wanted to give this one a try. I don't have some of the other colors I want in order to build the palette, so I haven't done it yet, but this stuff is apparently very good. So I'm actually going to do a little swatch right now and see what it looks like, because I haven't done this yet. Okay, I'm already really liking this stuff, so I might use it before even building my skin tone palette. Um, it's a little on the yellow side, but with some with some good reds and pinks, um, that would, that makes a very good a very good color. So pretty happy with that. Okay, and the last thing that I got from Amazon, um, I literally got yesterday. And it's been something I've been wanting for a while. I got myself a decent pencil case. Uh, this is one I've seen quite a few YouTube artists use. Jacqueline DeLeon got this kind, Danica Casill's got this kind, and it is one that I've been eyeing online for a while. So I finally just kind of said, you know what, I'm going to get it. Um, so it's the Lit Labs Smart Fit um, pencil case, and it's got two sides. So it's got this side that opens up right here, so you can lay some tools nice and flat. There's a pocket there. 
more things with a couple little mesh boxes right there. So there's nothing in here yet because like I said, I literally just got this yesterday and I haven't quite decided what's going to go in here yet. I'm going to play around with my usual supplies and figure out what I would be bringing with me all the time for sketching and work. So yeah, I'll probably do like a what's in my pencil case video in a couple of months once I figure out, you know, what I want to keep in here. But I'm pretty pleased and it's also a very pretty color. I like the color of that. Okay, so I have one thing here that I got at Five Below. I've been going to Five Below for my cheap art supply challenges, and when I was looking for good cheap art supply thing, I found another thing that actually wound up coming in handy. It came in a little box. I don't have the box anymore, but it's a little brush holder thing. So it's got this bottom piece. It comes apart like this in the box, and then you just kind of put these in the slots here. Kind of build it like this and because it was five below it only cost five dollars for this little plastic thing and yeah so I take it apart when I don't need it and then when I'm actively painting something I just kind of use this to just kind of you know hold on to my brushes and yeah it's very useful and it was very cheap and I'm glad I found it I have a whole bunch of stuff that I have picked up at Walmart over time. Um, you've already seen me use this quite a bit. I picked up the 3M brand Scotch Painters Tape. Um, this is very different from masking tape. My masking tape constantly ripped the paper and uh, this stuff has been amazing. It was really cheap. It was like two bucks or something at Walmart and it comes in different widths and it works very well. It doesn't tear up the paper because it's not that tacky but it can still handle getting wet very well because it's made for like painting like you know you're at the wall of your house or something but works very well and uh, my paper doesn't rip as much anymore which is exactly why I got it. Okay next up I got a whole bunch of these wooden plaques at Walmart. They were like 97 cents each so super cheap and I got a bunch of different shapes circle, ovals, rectangle, and this little French corner thing and um, again, like I saw this from another YouTuber, Donica Sills did some acrylic paintings on wood. And it's something I've been wanting to play with for a while is, is making art on wood, either with color pencil or paint. And I finally just saw another video and I was like, I need to do this. So I got a bunch of these and some other supplies that you'll see in the video. And I'm planning on uh, painting on these for next week. So something to look forward to. I'm pretty excited about trying these out. So when I got to go with that, um, I've actually had these for a while, but I got these at Walmart. It's a little pack of brushes. It says acrylic, watercolor, and tempera, and um, and it should work. It's uh, synthetic, and there I got this particular set because it's a variety of different sizes. There's a whole lot of round brushes and then some flat brushes, and I actually bought these to do um, the little mini painting collaboration I did with my girlfriend way back when I was house sitting in June. Um, but I've been holding on to them and they're actually quite decent. This was this was a pretty cheap pack. This was like less than 10 bucks for all these brushes and they're actually really good quality. So yeah, I'm probably these are probably going to be my acrylic brushes along with the few brushes I still have left over from when I was at Mass Art. And then another thing that I found at Walmart that I was extremely excited about and this was uh, again something that I saw in Donica Sills video um, this little painters this little like paint pen thing um, it's like Elmer's brand it was like less than two dollars and she used it on her acrylic uh, wood plaque pieces and it worked so well and one of the reasons that I haven't been messing with acrylic as much as I used to is because getting really clean line art is something that was very difficult for me to do but apparently this thing works very well so um, because it's a paint pen you have in order to get it going this used to be white you have to push this down a lot to get the paint moving and then it just works like a regular pen so like look at how clean that line is so like like this thing is gonna be amazing for when I do acrylic and I'll probably do whoops 
probably do a lot more acrylic than I used to because this thing is going to make it so much easier on me. Okay, this last set of stuff is all stuff that I bought at Michael's. And um, whenever I go shopping with Michael's, I always make sure to use a coupon. And I actually have a good friend who works at Michael's. So what I usually do is I give her cash and the coupon and then she uses her employee discount. So I wind up getting stuff like wicked cheap there. So, you know, kind of cheating the system, but it works. And she always offers, so I'm like, why not? Um, so I got a little thing of sandpaper. Um, it's the 320 Very Fine. And I'm going to use that on the wood plaques to um, prepare them before I paint on them. Because with wood, you're really not supposed to just paint straight up paint on it because it will actually soak into the wood. I have gesso left over from when I went to college. So I'm going to gesso and sand these. Uh, I want a very fine grit so that I can have a nice smooth surface so this will take the paint better so found that at Michael's probably should have gotten this at Walmart it probably would have been cheaper but it didn't occur to me until I was already at Michael's and I knew I needed some so still there's like five sheets in here so this should last quite a while and then yet another thing that I got because of Donica Sills like seriously that video I was like I need all these things like right now I found the Liquitex Vibrant set of acrylics because they were, they were so pretty. I already have a ton of acrylic paint in the Golden brand left over from school, uh, but it's all basic like primary colors and a couple of random ones. But there's six tubes and there's a, a vivid lime green, medium magenta, light blue permanent, yellow light handset, cadmium orange hue, and brilliant purple. These things are gorgeous. So. I'll do a quick swatch and show you what they look like. I'm really really excited about these because they're so bright and I think they're gonna look really really cool with like a nice illustration so I'm gonna be playing with these next week so yeah I'm pretty excited okay next up is something that I've already used in one video I used this in Moana and again this is another thing that I found from Donica Sills that I thought I wanted to try I really like her art so um, I got the Speedball Super Black India ink and a nice firm round brush. This is the Grump Busher, if I'm saying that right. Um, zero size brush and it's very firm bristle. So. And this ink is actually quite well. It works quite well. If you've seen the Milana video, you saw me use it. And I want to play with doing line art with this on some of my watercolors. Um, I still really like the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen, but it's a very soft brush, so there is some difficulty getting control with smaller details, um, so I think this stuff will work quite well, and it is waterproof. Yes, it's waterproof, and I don't know if it is acid proof and if it will work with things like Copics or not. I don't really use Copics. I have like a few, but I don't really use them. So I'm not sure about that. You may have to look that up or test it, but it is waterproof. So this will be very good for watercolor. And then the last st set of stuff that I got from Michaels um, is actually all used for embossing. Um, but I got it for multiple reasons. I got myself this little heat tool um, to use for drying my watercolors between layers so I don't have to wait. Because what I usually do is when I have a really wet layer, um, I turn the camera off for an hour and do something else and then go back to it. And I mean, it's been okay so far, but sometimes I just kind of want to finish the piece. So this should help um, to dry layers in between. It won't work for things like acrylic um, because it'll bake it, but for watercolor, it'll, it should dry it out. So I'm actually gonna open this up. 
So yeah, so it's got a little stand. And does this come off? I don't know. I'm gonna have to read the instructions, but this will be good for uh, drying out my watercolor. And then because it's something I've kind of wanted to play with anyway, I got some other embossing stuff. So this is a liquid clear ink so that you can actually like attach the powder to whatever you're doing. And then I got some uh, some clear sparkly stuff and I got this, this opaque sparkly stuff. My friend John actually pointed this out and I was like, I need this. So I think this could be another fun way to add some cool effects to watercolor. So I'm gonna have to play with this another time. So. Yeah. So that is it for this week's video. Um, just something simple. But I'm pretty excited to try out most of these new things. And uh, like I said, the acrylic on wood video is going to be next week. I'm not going to tell you what the subject matter is, but I already know it and I'm pretty excited. So it's going to be another fan art thing, I will tell you that much. And yeah, so this stuff this stuff should be good. I'm pretty I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with all this stuff. But that does it for this week, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.